Super Super Sport wet paint. Big feet. I pull up and kill shit. Six feet. All right, six feet going deep. It's Nectorious and my co-host Jerry Vega, bro. With Evan Aparicio, water with Evan. <laughs> or I didn't, I didn't know that was your full name. Yeah. All right, uh, Evan. Why don't you tell us about what you do? Uh, I would say uh, I started out as a photographer. I'm a videographer now. Mm. I shoot music videos. Uh, go further into like videography, cinematic stuff. Mm. Mainly vi music videos. How'd you start getting into photography? Uh, since that was the first thing. Shit. Um, I'll put it this way. I, I don't know. I've always been taking pictures like since I was young. Mm. Like my mom said, I always had a camera. Like I had a. Uh, I had one of what were those cameras with like the Nikon's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. I had an old I had a really old Nikon. I always take I would just take pictures like random shit and mm -hmm. it just kind of blew up to that. I got a GoPro, went up. Did you know how to use like Photoshop and stuff like that? No, no, I didn't. I didn't, didn't do that until like probably like two or three years ago. Oh, for real? Yeah, like 2015, somewhere oh. around there. Yeah. Was nah. It, was it hard to learn that stuff? Because I know. Ah, uh, no, dude, that <laughs> shit was annoying, man. I, I'd be like. I would be like, I'd be getting on YouTube and stuff like that, mm -hmm. trying to figure it out, and then I would have to go back and forth, back and forth, and dude, it was a pain in the ass. Nah, yeah. It took I a took, minute. I took Photoshop for like six years. I'm I never used really Photoshop, though. Really? Really, never used Photoshop. I used it for like titles, I think. When I took pictures, yeah. Or like distorting something. What was your favorite thing to take pictures of? Uh, I was always into like nature stuff, but like I realized like that wasn't getting like more attention on my, what I wanted. You know, I wanted mm -hmm. more attention as a photographer, so. I would take more portraits, like I would do everything for free. I started doing stuff for free. And then mm -hmm. I started charging people. I would get like a dub here, like 45, you know. Like prompting. per hour? No, nah, like just for the shoot. Uh, uh. Yeah, because I liked what I was doing, so I didn't charge anybody for yeah, it. Yeah, because you're already fun. Yeah, it was fun. But well, did you have like a lot of willing participants? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. I was I, like, that's that, that's how Namir caught me. Cause uh. Yeah, like, dude. Yeah, like, it was I, yeah, everybody knew who I was, like, from taking pictures wise, like, Oh, that's Water Whoopin' Heaven. Boom, pictures. Like, mm -hmm. there's another kid uh, around. He just like, yo, change your name to Water Whoopin' Heaven, cause he had Water Whoopin' on his name too. So I was like, but well, what does Water Whoopin' mean to you? Yo, it doesn't have a meaning. Like, I mean, <laughs> you can take it in any way you want to. It doesn't have a meaning. Cause I one mean. of my favorite Gucci Man songs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, that's what everybody that's, says. That's why I, was, I thought like when I saw your name, I was like, yo, that's cool as fuck. Like, I, I fuck with it cause it's very. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just let it ride, cause like he told me to change the shit. Uh -huh. He DM me, he's like, yo, change it, boom, we were both photographers, so it was like a little... Like a brand? Yeah, I, I wouldn't even say that, it's just like me and him is like together, but we never hung out or nothing, it was just like uh, IG shit, like... Oh, for real? Yeah, just Instagram shit, and then people knew it like that, and then it was one of those names like, yo, Art Whoopin' Evan, people didn't, people were just like, you know, what the fuck, like, why you have, why's your name Art Whoopin', and so that's what caught on, and then it, boom. Because when I saw no. the rubbing off the paint video and I saw Water Whippin' Evan, I actually thought it was Water Whippin' Van. And I was like... Yeah, I know. Everybody calls me like, Van, but I just like, you know, I was like, fuck it. Just change it. I put Van in my bio. I don't know like, why that, that E is like elusive. It's yeah, like, you, you can't really see, see it. it too much. Because <laughs> so I'm like, oh, Water Whippin'. Because like, I would always say like, yo, look at this video. And they're like, oh, it's the director. And like, oh, Water Whippin' Van. But no. I know. <laughs> I know. I would, I would be like shooting videos like <laughs> right after Namir's video, I shot another one. And mm -hmm. they would call me Van. And I'm like... Evan, bro. Like, <laughs> did it um, did it like start going up more because of the Namir video? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I, dude, I had like we had shot we shot that video and then I put it on my page and everybody's fucking with. It. I literally sent it to everybody in my Snapchat list, everybody yeah. in my text, like call log, everything, bro. And everybody was fucking with it. And you did all the effects yourself? <clears throat> yeah, everything. I was I had I was working at uh I was working at a car wash. For real? I was working at a car wash. I just got a job at the car wash and I was like trying to buy shit for my car I was I really stopped taking pictures and shit like that and then mm -hmm. he had hit me I was like yo let's shoot a video so we did that boom that happened the day we shot we shot that I had like called off of work or some shit like that uh -huh. and they were mad so I went back to work the next day every time I get off break I would be editing the video it took me about a week to figure it out because I like did, keep in mind this is like First video, so yeah, I was like looking everything up on YouTube. How did how the fuck do I do this? How the fuck do I do it's that? It's so funny how like yeah, cause your first video is so different from mine. Like <laughs> if I still have my first video, I, <laughs> yeah. I think you've seen it when it had like, cause I used like, um, iMovie, right? I used this like yeah. effect, and it was like it was like so stupid. It, I just like didn't know what I was doing, so I just like put random stuff. No, I had I had the I had the full setup. I, I just didn't have the camera. I had a photography camera. Like I had like mm -hmm. a, some Nikon. But it could still record, right? Like oh yeah, yeah, it still could. It still recorded like 1080, like 1080, 30, or 1080, 60. But 
it was clear as fuck that's why everybody fucked with me <laughs> how and hard was the the editing like for you oh uh, dude it was a pain in the ass because like i was trying to color everything uh-huh. so I would, I would color one clip and then it would turn all the other clips a different color and i'd be like yo what yeah. the fuck like yeah these are adjustment like yeah exactly i was doing i was doing <laughs> the wrong thing man and it fucked me up you know like, it took a, it took a smooth week for me to get that done no yeah uh, do you feel um like after like a while you start getting the hang of it oh yeah definitely like every time i look at my old like uh, every time i look at like old work i'm like yo what the fuck is that like <laughs> i can do better even the new video or the j video like everything i feel like i can do way better for that how do you feel you did with the the trap star video new wave yeah oh, uh, no, um chopper uh, yeah chopper uh i mean shit i had edited that i had caught that at the right time because i was like mm. I knew I knew Trap Star because he had hit me way before it. He got that Trippy Coast on. Remember, mm. Trippy was with some of his stuff. Yeah. So, I did that, and then um, I hit Trap Star up, and he was like, "Yo, go talk to Kenny." So I DM Kenny. Kenny sent me everything, and boom, it was just up from there. Mm. And I posted on my channel. And he posted on his channel. Did you and Kenny like just click like yeah. at that moment? Yeah. Yeah. It was like boom, like right at like right there because I DM him. He's like, "Yo, what's good, bro?" Like this and that. I was like, "Yeah, what's up?" And then we linked in Miami like not too long after. Wow. Yeah. Do you like his vlogs? Like oh yeah, dude, his shit's fire. Like I don't know, he he needs he needs the he needs the he needs way more like publicity like, publicity than he has. Yeah, he really does. Cause his yeah, like dude. I remember the first time I watched it, cause um you know they remind me a lot of Rice Gum. So like, yeah, 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 I really, I yeah. Really like, cause I'm I'm a fan of Rice Gum videos. So like when I saw his videos, I was like, yo, he's doing what Rice Gum's doing. I fuck with that. I mean, like I'm not saying like like he's caught me. I'm just no. saying like. You know his like Similar. he's got he's yeah, got really like, good content like he just goes in with the editing like you know he takes his time with yeah it, so that's why i really fucked with <laughs> i know what you're talking about like the editing yeah the, the, like i don't know because he just puts like yeah like i'm talking like i talked to him and he really has like he's really like unique with it because like not a lot of people have his style his editing style oh yeah definitely because he knows exactly what like you know like what's he's got the personality for it so he ain't got the personality to vlog do you ever try vlogging no, I've never tried it. Really? Yeah. My boy, won't, I mean, like, it'd be dope to have it, but I feel like that's not, like, an everyday thing. I mm-hmm. feel like, I don't know. It's everyday, bro. Yeah, right? <laughs> I, like to, I, like to keep, I like to keep it, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I stay by myself most of the time, so I like to just, like, oh, yeah. stay closed in. Are you always, I, like, are you, are, you, are you always just, like, learning stuff and just editing, practicing? And then uh, basi- I mean, like, I try to get into different things like editing and stuff like that, but it's like, bro, like I'm not finna put my time into like a trash ass artist if I'm gonna. I mean, I'm selective on who I shoot, but like. Yeah, because I hear a lot that artists, I mean, videographers, they stop making videos just because they have to hear like a trash song over and over. Yeah, yeah. Over sometimes they, they don't get the right work. Yeah, so they're like, they oh, you know, fuck. But no, man, I got like the artists and everything. Like, I got everything like set up right. I got connections and everything, but it's just like that's not where the bags at. Like, you gotta have the like. It's like. I don't know. I stopped shooting a lot of videos. Like, I'm only selective. Like, I, I came down here, like, on a lineup. Like, I had... I've been out here for, like, two weeks. Mm. I go back in the third, I think. Somewhere around there. But, no, nah, everything's been lined up perfect. Video every day. I've shot a video every day for, like, a week and a half. Who are you working with on while you're out here? Uh, it was really just kind of, like, people from Instagram and stuff like that. No, I did mm-hmm. have Trap Star. That was... We were, gonna, we were supposed to shoot some shit with Trap Star. Mm. But, uh... I don't know what's up with that. The new... No, you already did the new wave. Yeah, we did new wave. New what are you guys gonna do a video for Rockstar? Th- is it Rockstar? I think it's Rockstar Rocket Shit. One of those. It's uh That's my know. that's my favorite Trap Star song. Oh Walk? Yeah, yeah I know. No, you no, know. no. It's like it's he, he has it, like on YouTube it has the picture of like him in the cornfield or like the sunflower field where we got shot Choppa. I'm trying to think. It's like rock Rockstar Rocket Shit. Oh no, I'd have to figure that I haven't heard that one, I don't think. Cause uh, yeah, me and Kenny always tell him like, "Yo, shoot a video for it, shoot a video for it." Dude, I don't know. He's trap star's weird, bro. You gotta <laughs> get him at the right time. <laughs> so, um, when you work with artists, like, what would make you want to work with one of like an artist? Uh, one, I mean, like, I don't know the respect and like who I am because like mm-hmm. most people like, try to lowball me, bro. Like, I give them a price and they be like, nah. Mm-hmm. They be throwing like four or five hundred dollars lower than what I give them. I'm like, nah, man. And then at point, once I see that, I don't I don't fuck with them. So if yeah. they're like fucking with me and everything, you know, we get the right price out, and then they have good music. I, I can fuck with that. Are they usually like in your area, or are they you have to fly out? To no, to meet with I them? don't shoot anybody in Birmingham. Really? Uh uh-uh, uh No. Is it because there's not like too many or? No nah, man, it's just I don't fuck. I, I mean, no nothing against Birmingham. It's just like bro, Birmingham's like a fucking like it's just tragic. For real? Everybody hates out there, dude. I fucking hate it. What do you there's nothing like? out there. What do you feel like the best scene is at? Uh, for music, I mean, 
of course LA but like out here mm-hmm. I feel like everybody's got to drive to work you think so but you still got the view and you see you, it's like a, it's like blowing up almost you got the, you got the push out here in Miami Tampa's nice but I feel like Miami's like everyone in Miami says like oh Miami everyone just hates they don't wanna they no don't wanna man they say that then they go to Birmingham it's <laughs> Uh, nothing. There's nothing in Birmingham. So it's like the the videographer culture and like the in Birmingham original aspect. Is it the same thing? Um, what do you mean? Like, like, like is it like do other videographers and photographers hate on on you? No, like? no. I wouldn't say is that. It's just like you got. Art, it's really the artists. Mm. Like they don't like they be hitting me up. But I'm like, nah. I don't even answer. I don't like answering an artist from Birmingham. One, cause they either on some like sneaky shit. Because mm-hmm. I shot the video for Namir and Namir doesn't fuck with them or just something like that. Trying to get in a certain way, but yeah. people do anything for clout. Yeah, it's funny how, like, because people hit me up, like, yo, let me get an interview so I can talk shit about Trap Star. And I see right? Yeah, bro. Like, like, everybody got something to well, say. I want you to be out here. Like, yo, just do your yeah. thing and stay in your lane, bro. I'll be in my lane. I don't really care. Yeah, because they always tell me, like, oh, well, uh, we're going to both get clout from it. I'm like, I don't want clout like that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah, that's like some <laughs> academic shit right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, know. what about, like, um, some like videographers or photographers that you look up to uh i wouldn't i, I don't know or you're influenced by i don't know i always have my outlook on like everything mm-hmm. kind of like by myself because like when i started taking pictures like it was more like i always had like an aesthetic for something yeah like i had two different pages i had a photography page and i had my regular page and for my photography page i was always like strict on like what everything looked like mm-hmm. it had to be certain colors certain looks like so i kind of tuned that in in the mirrors video mm-hmm. and i just made everything like I always had an aesthetic for something. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I just made everything go my way. But I did look up, like, effects-wise, like, Cole Bennett, of course. Like, <laughs> everybody's going to say that. Everybody's going to say that. But, you know, like, Cole Bennett. And it's just, like, yeah, just kind of, like, nice having a different look on something. Because I feel like adding a cinematic with something you don't see normally, like, mm-hmm. it's going to pop out. What about, like, movies and stuff? Were you influenced by a lot of movies? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say, like, the, like, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the Marvel movies? Nah, like. Those, that's crazy shit right there you don't like them i mean like just they they weren't influencing i like i don't know i've never really watched any more like cinematic movies anything like that what about the tv i don't watch tv you don't watch tv i don't watch any tv i mean i was an outside kid oh okay yeah what, what sports were you playing like, oh uh, baseball baseball? Played baseball like all the way up until like ninth grade were you trying to go pro uh, I could have. Like, I mean, I, I'm not saying I. C- I mean, I'm gonna have the confidence to say yeah, I could have because I was I was a pitcher and a catcher, uh-huh. so uh, that's what I did. That's what everybody knew me for. And then that's also another thing. I skated too. Uh-huh. I was really big in skateboarding. That's what the video stuff kind of came from because I started out making edits at the skate park and shit like that. Oh really? Yeah. And was it just like? Was boom. there a big skate scene in Birmingham? Uh, yeah. There's actually a pretty good, decent skate. It kind of died down just <laughs> because like the, uh, everybody got older. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everyone got older and just moved off, so it's just kind of like dying down because nobody skates anymore, I guess. I don't know. Do you ever skate in L.A.? Uh, no, I never skated out there. My brother, you know what the barracks is? The barracks, yeah. Yeah, my brother got flown out to the barracks. Oh, for real? That's yeah, dope. he's younger than me, but yeah, he got flown out. He was into skating. Yeah. You know, back in the day. It died out, I'm saying. Yeah, but like here <laughs> in Miami, nah, I have a couple homies that Cause maintained. Yeah, because everyone... Cause, well, yeah, there's always like that one like little group that maintains the whole little yeah, my culture my boys be doing all yeah there's like this cool little shop skate shop out there like they still go everything you know there was a skate shop here at MIA and like yeah, I yeah. Know, like, the dad once they like close it down yeah yeah, yeah like, probably so that was like the staple of it yeah. yeah I don't know LA is kind of big I mean LA is gonna always be big have you ever done a video on your skateboard like uh, filmed while you're skating yeah yeah I had a GoPro like yeah. I would have like a <clears throat> personal GoPro like on my chest or my head or my helmet or something like that and yeah. I film me skating and stuff like that because one time I was doing a video I was um, like filming one of my music videos and my boy he was on the skateboard and he was like doing a 360 shot oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but then the skateboard like he fell off of it and then it like, almost went into the sewer hell no nah, I had one of my boys go on the lake before for real? <laughs> yeah that shit You're, sucks bro do, would, would you watch a lot of um, skate videos oh dude every day did Every you, day. Did you Every watch day. those videos that were like they would land the chick or that they would fall and oh like, the no the I, I wouldn't watch the the fall. I wouldn't watch the watch the I hated that shit because I would always think I'm gonna do the same Yo, shit. Yo, gee, yeah. shit. Who was your favorite skater? Uh, shit. Andrew Reynolds, off the gate. Andrew Reynolds. Uh, then you like Post Malone? What's That's the guy? The Malone. Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy's name? Yeah. Malone. Remember the Malone Cup? Bitch, it was called the Maloof Cup. But Maloof. I would yeah. say my oh, favorite God. skater would have to be honestly when I was watching like Billy Marks. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was super hard, bro. I like the whole Baker like squad. 
that was my shit right there. Basically, yeah. like CCS magazines are in the catalogs. They yeah, the you know, list. I saw someone wearing a CCS hoodie. Though. No, that's yeah. the thing, bro. CCS <laughs> was like dead out in Birmingham. CCS is like a fuck no. You For real? <laughs> nah, it's always a local skate shop. It's funny because like that, was, like that was a big thing here. Like, like I would yeah, have exactly. Catalogs. But it's like the poser. Like I don't know. In, in, in Alabama, it was like you know, if you go to CCS, you're a poser. Like For real? you get hit on like. You got a CCS sticker mm-hmm. and people are going to crack on you. When I was, like, I was in, like, sixth grade and I was, like, a nerdy kid. And then, like, I would have those magazines and, like, the cool kids would talk to me. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you would like, bring <laughs> the, the little CCS cat. Yo, but that, uh, that, that the little fu- magazine was always tags. Oh, yeah, they tagged yeah, everything. Yeah. Yo, it's like, we're still no like, wonder they're probably, I don't know what the hell they're up to. Now, yeah, they're, 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 like, they're every they're sh- store shut down there just online Like, that's news for, like, 200 bucks, right? Yeah, like, bro, that shit's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate that. What's, like, fashion out in, in Birmingham? Like, what do you guys wear out there? Dude, Birmingham is, like, hipster. Yeah. yeah, that's where the cinematic like aesthetic type shit came from because uh, everything out there is like, like urban. Festivals yeah, and stuff. urban. Yeah. Like you have like rock festivals, like alternative okay. rock festivals. Everything yeah. was just like you know creative. It's more creative out there. Yeah, it's creative out there for sure. You said you were into the alternative rock. Like, what bands did you like? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh. I wouldn't call Passion Pit. I don't know if I would call you would call that. You know what Passion Pit is? Yeah, the, aren't they electronic? Yeah, yeah, almost like, electronic. They're almost yeah. electronic, yeah. I fucked with them a lot. I fuck with Passion Pit, Arcade Fire. Oh, yeah. um, who else? Who else? Who else? I seen Arcade Fire on accident. Like, yeah, yeah, Arcade Fire. I would always pan- Pandora everything, so oh, yeah. it was kind of like a mix of it, yeah. It was fire. But I don't know. It was two off the top of my head that I listen to. Did you ever want to like shoot for any alternative bands? Or just I never thought about it. That's one thing I never thought about doing is shooting a video. For, I never shot, th- thought about shooting videos in general though. That's the thing. Cause I was like, no, I can't do that. Oh, yeah. that's, that's dead. Like so, I can't do that. So what made you want to shoot the video for in the mirror? No, it was just like, like a first try thing type. Like, cause like my boys make music and everything. Mm-hmm. That's how like everything kind of started going up. Like at the skate park and then the skate park led to like kids. I knew they started making music and they had a little buzz out there. Yeah. And then, uh, they influenced me. So I was like, yo, I want to shoot a video for them. Boom, got out there. We just started taking pictures. Just started mm-hmm. taking pictures. I was like, I felt accomplished to like, you know, yeah. get up there with them. Yeah. And then once that happened, that's when my name kind of got out as just taking pictures. Like, Water Whip and Evan. Boom. Everybody in school knew who Do you have a watermark? Uh, I never had a watermark as a picture. Like, for pictures, never had. I would just like make up something. Uh. Yeah, photo- that's what I use Photoshop for it. But uh, what about like um, Flickr, like Photobook Air? Did you had any of those? I, I never used Instagram. anything. I just use uh, VSEO. That was it. Uh. Yeah, just edit my pictures on there. That's how I did it. I use Lightroom and VSEO. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, no, nah, man, it's just like just everything kind of led to one. In the mirror um, is really the song. <laughs> it was the song because I, I wasn't going to shoot it with his ass, but like it was the song, bro. Like I played that shit in my car and it just went up. Uh. Like I was like, yo, we got to do this. I hit him and I was like, I said, text me, text me a song, everything, boom, like that. And then, but like in general, like before he, had, it was like, I think it was like two months before he had sent me, like, he hit me up, he sent me his music and, you know, he dropped his mixtape, everything. Mm. And then uh, I was listening to everything. I was like, yeah, it's pretty dope. I was fucking with it. And then, I don't know, some shit happened. I think he got like arrested or something like that for driving yeah. without a license. Yeah. Uh, and then he hit me after that, like two months after. Uh, and he was like, yo, let's shoot the video. I'm ready. So he texted me and then we ended up just shooting at his house. The whole, everything's based at his house. Wasn't it at a gas station? Yeah, we shot at a gas station, too. We got uh, kicked out of the first one. Oh, fair the enough. first clip where it opens up where they're all at the gas station, we got kicked out. Uh, and the second one, that was... I shot at a Publix once. When, like, he was shooting me, and then, like, they kicked us out. Nah, man. Shooting in <laughs> stores. After that after that video, everybody started uh, doing that. Oh, yeah. I did notice that. I shot, like, three videos, and everybody was like, yo, let's go shoot in the gas station. Dude, let's shoot in the gas station. Like, nah. We're not doing that. So, like, when you what kind of videos would you not shoot? Uh, I don't know. It depends. Like, like do you want to do more creative stuff or more like, oh, you know, there's a bag here, so let me do it. You know. Uh, creative stuff is like, yeah, definitely creative stuff. But it's just like right now, mm. like I'm just focused on, I don't know, I focus on building myself out more. Mm. Which I mean, how, getting a bag on a video is like this and that, but you know, like I feel like once you do that, you can work higher. No, oh, yeah. I do that mixing it in with creative stuff. How do you like? When did you notice that you were actually coming up? Like you felt like oh, you started dude, seeing right after movie. the world star shit, yeah. <laughs> dude. I had like five thousand followers, I think, before that. Uh-huh. I was like right at five, and then world star posted it. They tagged me. I was like, world star just posted my shit. Uh-huh. Looking refresh again, and then left it up there. But like my phone was dying, like dead, like going crazy. For real? Yes, going crazy. 
they had tagged that and then uh i had forgot i had my number in my bio oh, <laughs> for pictures yeah so, so it was going yeah, stupid bro like i couldn't go to sleep that night real shit i couldn't go to sleep that night because they had posted it for 30 minutes took it down and then put it right back up tag oh. my name twice yeah twice so i went up like i think like, two or three thousand followers you couldn't sleep because they were annoying or they were yeah like, like they were just calling excited. me like dead like steady call i'm getting a call from like everyone around the country like oh shit. <laughs> it was crazy it was real crazy <laughs> <laughs> like a cause, man. Like business out of the, out the ass, really. And I, was, I didn't know how to take it though. Really? Yeah, yeah. Cause like, were you flying out a lot before then? No, I never flew. Never. Never flew out before. Never got on a plane. I always told myself I'd never get on a plane. Oh really? Yeah, never. Like, were you scared of a plane or like? Yeah, I don't like what? heights and I don't oh, like that man. shit. Yeah. How was it when you came here? Oh like uh, no, no, I, your first plane ride. Oh, my first plane ride was yeah. like n- it was to New York. I had a video on New York, mm. and uh, yeah, that video went up too. Well, and we never dropped it, but it got like 350k on my Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah, it went stupid. And, uh, no, I, it was it was weird, bro. I had anxiety. I didn't like it. It was like yeah. two hours. But you went by yourself? No, nah, I was with one of my boys. Oh, the last plane I like, I rode to, um, well, the first one I was to LA, and that was six hours. That shit fucking sucks. Oh, dude. LA, fucking hate LA flights. <laughs> I had so one that was like 10, and I didn't know it was a layover. Hours? Yes, bro. That shit sucked. 10 hours oh, from ass. LA to Alabama yes I had a, I got it overnight so that oh, shit was shit. like oh, what the fuck that shit was like it, it fucking sucked dude I does hate your it. phone still like go crazy now oh uh, dude I got yeah I got two different numbers <laughs> oh yeah, yeah two phones I have to I had a personal number what, what, what would um what if you had to like an artist was like oh I want you to film me like jumping out this plane and you have to like no, that's out. dead. <laughs> they would have to really, they would have to really give me a back for that. They would have to like really give me a back for that one. For oh yeah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that for free. No matter who it is, I couldn't do it for free. How is it like when you're like when you're editing, but then like an artist doesn't know their lyrics? Oh, that's that's that's, that's where like B roll comes in. That's why I gotta shoot a bunch <laughs> of extra clips because sometimes artists don't. They begin so like geeked and like fucked up, bro. Like they don't remember off the drugs. They they don't even remember the lyrics, and I'm like, that's what be making me mad. Mm. I hate that shit. I hate it. And then but it's just like they're paying me, so I can't do nothing about it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Where yeah. um, how do you feel about like you know like Namir, like any like artists that you like want to work with, like personally? How do you feel about them like going with other videographers? Oh, I mean, like, off the gate, like, once we in the mirror shot mm-hmm. your video, it was like, as soon as we shot that video, um, uh, we shot another one mm-hmm. two days after. I was at work, and he was like, yo, we get the IA, we get the Audi for the uh-huh. video. I was like, like, what? I was like, all right, cool. And then, I boom, as soon as I got that call, I told my work, I was like, yo, I, I'm going to have to be off for these two days. We shot that video. We were shooting it in the midst of shooting that video. Chris Brown posted, reposted this shit. For real? As we were all, like, we were in this, like, nice-ass penthouse in downtown Birmingham. Like, everything was set no, up. I think I remember that because I think yeah, that's everything was set. Saying, yeah. I think that's how I, like, noticed it. Yeah, everything was everything was set up right and straight. So I was like, bet, this is, like, real cool. We had a bunch of girls for the video. Yeah. Like, everything. So I was like, all right, bet. So as soon as that happened, we got that. We finished the video on the way to a different spot. Mm-hmm. And then Chris Brown posted it. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. That's when I knew shit started to get serious. Uh, I was like, he tag you? Nah, he didn't tag. He didn't tag the mirror either, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, he did like repost shit to where it had his name on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he did that, and then like, bro, once it went up there, like, sent that shit to my mom. She didn't believe it. For real? Like, what the, f- like, what the hell, like, yo, this is crazy. I sent it to her friend. She was like, this is that's like crazy, man. So that's like once once that happened, that's when shit started jumping off. Really? Yeah, for were sure. You, were your parents like really supportive of everything? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they liked it. They just did, it just <coughs> took time for them to like really understand and this is like uh, what I'm gonna do. Yeah. But yeah. Did they want you to like finish school and everything? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Of course. I just gotta get that done. I for sure gotta get that done. Uh, I pay somebody or what? <laughs> I gotta do it. They're like six nine. It's yeah, like pay somebody. Live and yeah. Like, oh, what's this answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. But who um who are you looking to shoot with now? Like who do you see like coming up or like someone that's up right now that you like that you want to shoot for? Uh like I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Polari. I mean, Polari? I've, sh- I've shot with him though like twice. But like no, that was like one of the artists that he had <coughs> a song, like song with like Wintertime I think. Mm-hmm. Wintertime fell off. I don't know what happened. You think he fell off? Uh, I think he fell off, bro. I don't, I don't know. know what happened. He but were you a fan of him? Uh, I don't know, because that's when Yachty came out. So once Yachty came out, I was like, yo, Polari, he's fire. And then I heard Wintertime, and I thought Wintertime was just kind of trying to copy everything. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I know what happened with that. But, like, 
I think he was pretty like I don't know. I felt like he was kind of original. Yeah, kind of, kind of. I mean, if he stayed, he probably would be up right now. But Polari, like, I heard some of his songs and I never really caught on to who he was. Yeah. I never like fanned him, like fanboyed him, like you know, like. Do you think it was like what? What was your first reaction when you heard his music? Like when he was. Why? Like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know, cause like I was used to the Yachty and stuff, so I was like, yeah. you know, this is cool. And then it had, but the beats go dumb though, like so it had a good vibe to it, so everything mm. kind of played in tune to itself. But nah, and then he had hit me like, fucking, I seen, I seen him DM me, and I was like, oh shit. And then we got on the phone, we linked that up that weekend, boom, shot the video. I was like, this is crazy. Oh yeah, it's like. But yeah, he's become he's a fan and then he just like started doing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even say fan. Like, like I would listen to his music. Yeah, I was supporting his music and stuff like that. I would listen to it, but it was like I would just never see myself with that, like doing that. You know, everything really? I would like, yo, I want to do everything. I'm not even a front. Like everything I say I want to do, mm -hmm. I do it. Really? Yeah, like I'd be like, for instance, I'd be looking at a girl in the hallway and be like, yo, I want that. I want that, that, that <laughs> you know what I'm Two months later, like, boom. Shit happens. You believe in like the law of attraction and, and stuff oh yeah, like definitely, 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 definitely. Like that's like main focus. Like I believe in that for sure because like that's how everything happens for me. I don't, I don't like, like itch towards it. I guess mm -hmm. you could say, but uh -huh. like I have it in the back of my head. So like it just kind of happens. Oh, everything yeah. just plays itself out. I let everything play out myself. I don't rush anything. No, yeah. What about um? No, I had a question. I forgot it. Where do you see like everything going? Like, what's like the your ultimate goal? Oh, my ultimate goal? Like, just mm -hmm. like, I want to branch out, like, me and my boys have been talking about clothes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. I just want to be, like, known as that video guy. Like, you know? Like, yeah. oh, I'm starting to come up like that, but, like, I want to be just up there. Were you ever trying to, um, do you ever want to be an artist? As an artist? Like, music? Yeah. No. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do the little Zen. Couldn't what, do that. <laughs> what's, like, the clout difference between, like, being a videographer and being a ra like a rapper i don't know dude it's like oh it's, it's it's completely different of course because like you got like okay let's put it this way you got like you get clout from artists mm -hmm. and then the artists like fanboy you yeah as being a video guy so they want to shoot with you so you got more of like artists like you'll be like i'll be out and be like like i go to the mall where in birmingham like people are gonna be like yo what's good like they know me like they'll say my name or i'll hear it across the ball or some shit like that yeah and then that that's kind of it's kind of more like that like people kind of want to shoot with you with artists you just get the bitches and like <laughs> yeah, like, with, like, like the fans it, and, like everything. The and everything like, yeah, the groupies and everything yeah that, that's like, how that works that's how that works. So, like the videographer and like yo mm. you're one of them no, no 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 i mean i have a couple <laughs> girls who do that shit but it's, i don't i don't pay my i don't pay attention to girls right now like, <laughs> what about like money. when you're like you went on tour with them right who in the mirror? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, you no. been to the, like, their shows and stuff? No, I never been to a show. For real? I went to one. Was I it like one show? Was like be smaller? Like it smaller was. Show? It was actually the night that, the day that Chris Brown posted this shit, mm. he had a show that night with Key Glock. Mm. Key Glock is the first person he did, like big that he did a song with. Key. Key Glock. Key oh, okay. He signed a. Uh, he signed a what's his name? Uh, it's like Paper Route Empire with uh, Young Dolph. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He signed. He signed to him. But nah, that was the first like real big thing we did. So I went mm -hmm. to the club that night with them. First time getting to the club, like, right. I was like, I was like, damn. Nigga, oh, like, shit. How old were you at this time? I was I was sixteen. I was that's, sixteen. That's like um, hold up. Yeah, I was sixteen. Yeah. That's like Kodak Black when he was like performing in the strip clubs and he was like eighteen. Oh yeah, right. Like, no, he was like <laughs> seventeen and sixteen. No, that shit's crazy, yo. But nah, going to the club for the first time, it was lame as fuck to me. Though. For I was real? just like chilling though. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it was it was kind of cool. We had everybody come and take pictures with us and stuff like that, but. In the section we had but nah clubs not really a club guy no nah, i'm not a club guy i'm not like the type of guy to go around dancing so like, i don't like i don't act crazy in general i don't like, i don't be acting crazy does it let you drink oh yeah i, I mean fuck if you get in there you gotta yeah, be 21 anyway it's like you're not gonna know oh you're 16 you're not getting anything oh, yeah. to drink but you're in here but nah this shit was easy it's easy to get in a club you know somebody you get in a club easy no it's super easy to get into a club. <laughs> exactly like last night we finessed our way into a club through the exit yeah, yeah. yeah that's, Dude, that's what we, we always that's do yeah right like, yo, fuck the entrance we, we just go the back yeah, yeah we go around the back <laughs> every single time no but do you feel like you know being young and you know having all this like momentum and all these good things happening to you like do you feel like you know like when you see child stars like when they grow yeah. up they have like go like it's all up for them and then it goes downhill do you ever feel like that might happen to you uh no, it's just gotta you gotta play your cards right. It mm. Depends like you know you, all these child stars, they getting all the money and everything, and they just boom yeah. drugs, 
drugs are what fuck them up. Yeah. I mean, you can go off the face of the earth and not do drugs and still be straight, but then you go off the face of the earth with drugs, you're going to be broke and fucked up. <laughs> like, that's dead. But you just got to play your cards right, man. I never look at it like that. I really just live in, I wouldn't even say I live in the moment. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Do you? I still, the, the, the fucking beating the world record for 100 million, or not world record, but just world star record for 100 million views. The first one still hasn't hit me. None of that shit's hit me. I just kind of like, I'm moving forward. I'm not to where I want to be at yet, so I'm not going to celebrate anything. No, yeah. It's good because then you don't get like complacent. You're like, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. You can't, you can't be, bro. You got to keep moving. No, yeah. Do you have um like any mentors or anything that you look up to? Like, or that help you out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was just one with uh, my boy Alex. He, he's with Kodak people. Mm. He he's a he's pretty he's up there. He's helped me out with a couple artists. Uh, Trap star, you got trap stars down and shit like that. But mm. he linked me with Cuban Doll. Um, I don't know. It's mainly just like kind of doing everything on my own. I don't really have anybody gonna tell me what to do. Yeah, it's just I like I don't like having anybody tell me what to do in general. That's why I quit baseball. I hated having a coach. For real? Yeah, always told me what to do. I hated that shit. <laughs> I can't stand it. Job? Can't. I've never had a job for more than two weeks. Only had two jobs. So you were working at the car plate? <laughs> I, I worked at the car wash. I literally worked at the start of the car wash like a week and a half before that, and okay. then that shit happened and quit. Yeah, as soon as like swear like we went to the club, Chris Brown posted. We went to the club that night. The next morning I had work and I didn't go. Did you go to your coworkers like, yo, Chris Brown pressed my, my Yeah, everybody my was shit. freaking out. Yeah. They were tweaking out. They were like, yo, what the fuck? This is crazy. Like, uh. They didn't believe it, though. They were just like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And then yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is for real. What about when you're in school and like, like the other kids are like that? No, I was homeschooled. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was homeschooled. When I, uh, yeah. The, like the whole time? Uh, No, no, no. It was like uh, I started homeschooling like the second week of 10th grade. Oh, really? Yeah, ninth grade I was in school and then like went to tenth grade for like two weeks and then just started homeschooling. Is that why you started like? Well, is that did that play a role in like doing the photography and everything? Because you were uh, like, it home? it didn't. I wouldn't say it played a role. It's like I do. I was in, I got in so much trouble. Like, oh, yeah. I would be doing like not legal trouble, but I was always doing shit to get in legal trouble. Like <laughs> I was always in trouble, man. Um, at school too, and then that's how that's why I had stopped going to school and first two weeks uh, I was in the office every day two oh, weeks straight every day because we got a new principal and she was just on my ass were you fighting? Uh, I got sent to alternative school once <laughs> eighth grade I got sent to alternative school alternative school that's like for yeah, yeah, school. Like, no, yeah. No, like <laughs> <laughs> for that once but I don't know I don't take that up like I don't take that look no yeah because nah. it takes a lot to like make me mad but mm. you know I'm just a like, chill person I don't really I stay in my own lane no of course you, nah. have, any, you have any questions? no not really. I was gonna ask him about the how he did in school and stuff. How <laughs> he really he did in school. <laughs> yeah. What was like? What's like a misconception about you that you want to like uh, clear up? Shit, I don't know. Really, like that. That, that was more of like a high, like I had a high school like reputation as being like the kid that smokes weed and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, that went around. And I was like, fuck. But Were you? Not, yeah, yeah. I would always, <laughs> I was always smoking weed, but no, nah, that's just lame, bro. I don't smoke. I don't like it. It's sure. just lame to me. Yeah, there's no point. I mean. Yeah, I can see a point, like medical purposes, but other than that, I smoke and I feel weird, so I don't do that shit anymore. It's dead. Is it because they because of the rumors? No, 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 not because the rumors. <laughs> I mean, like, all, it was always just like like everybody's parents wouldn't let me like hang out with their kids and oh, shit. Really? That's how it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's how it was. Really? And then really, it was just like this, like whole everything that happened was just more like a big fuck you to everybody's parents. Like, oh, funny. Yeah, fuck you, like you know. <laughs> I'm doing my thing. I think I that's why. Guys. Yeah, I think that's like something that drives a lot of like people. Oh yeah, exactly. It's just like, like <laughs> exactly. I'm not just gonna get like you know cuss them out and shit. It's more just like actions speak louder than words. Hit them with yeah. the. Do you know who went up? Yeah, do you know who I? <laughs> 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 do, do you ever do that? Because we're always joking. No, nah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like we're always like, yo, do you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking to you right now? Nah, man. I don't like, have because I have a job too. I work customer service and like people be like yelling at me and shit. I'm like, yo, do you know who the fuck I am? No, bro, I can't have no job, bro. Like. I couldn't do that, but uh, nah, I've never hit anybody with that shit. Now, like, if somebody comes to my DM and like, like, I'll be like, you know, hit me in the DM like for like with a budget ready, mm. but like a reasonable budget. Like, if you hit me with something under the five hundred dollars, I'm be like, you, who the fuck are you, bro? <laughs> like, because you have a video that has a hundred million views, so like, yeah, bro. Like, I mean, you? I'm not gonna like take that up as like, oh fuck you guys, and nobody else has a hundred million views, but it's just like being the first person on world star to have that shit. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it feels good. But I, I, like, like I said, I don't feel any of that yet. I feel like nothing like that. You know, it's just building me up. Oh, yeah. To where I want to be. When I'm what I want to be, uh, just, then I might be able to celebrate it. But other than that, no. 
Just are you gonna, right now. Do you wanna do you wanna continue doing more photography or do you wanna do more videos? Uh what right now I haven't had time to do photography. It's just kinda like here, this and that, like I don't charge anybody for pictures really because mm. it's all throughout videos like you yeah. know while i'm waiting on set with a video like somebody's just chilling over there I'll, some yeah snap some pictures because oh, yeah. it's just like comes with that so do you yes. you ever plan on like doing like movies and big like big productions like that that's yeah like yeah 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 that that'd be that'd be dope actually like that's what i want to get into mm. and i feel like i put my time more into that be easier just to shoot them like editing do like i get edited and shit like that I, I can go crazy on editing but it's like like a whole hour long production bro that shit sitting down i can't sit down for more than like an hour mm. looking at the computer dude it's do you ever get anxiety like when you're like about to do something you're just like yo i'm so overwhelmed because there's like so much that i could be doing uh <clears throat> yeah i mean i get anxiety sometimes it's just like random i don't be i don't like being around a lot of people mm. i don't like that mm. at all i hate that and then like uh Let's say, like, I'm always worried, like, I'm not doing the best, even though I am. Mm. It's like I'm not doing the best at what I'm doing, so I'm always worried about being better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm always worried about being better. It's the main thing I have anxiety about, quality. Yeah, of course. You want to put, like, your best, like, that's the guy that we just interviewed. He said, oh, always apply yourself, like, oh, yeah. as much as you can. Exactly. You got to take in, like, as much as you can. Don't just sit there. Like, you got these other people who are just, like, sitting around. These are really important people and don't do shit with their lives. Mm. And now you got the right person that comes around, dude. You can take that knowledge and boom, you're oh, up. Yeah. Use it. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you have like any advice for like anyone like trying to build a following? Uh, I, I mean, you just gotta be like, really, you gotta be yourself. Like all these people are trying to do dumb shit. I mean, you can do dumb shit and get up like that too, but you're gonna be, like stupid, bro. You're gonna be known for that. Mm. If you have good quality in what you do and a good personality, you can do anything, really. You just gotta keep. You gotta keep working. Hard you work. Feel, you ever feel like you have to do dumb shit, like? To keep to keep your name up? No, 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 definitely not. I mean, my name's there. It's not there all the way. Mm. It's not there completely, but it, it'll be up there without that. Definitely. Yeah. Well, do you ever feel like people judge you because your age? Oh yeah, definitely. Like people they like bro you. people. Oh yeah, they, they try to little bro me a lot. Which I mean, like, cool. You can little bro me, but it's just like at the end of the day, like some of these rappers that I shoot, bro, I got way more fucking money than them. Like, <laughs> you like, I look at them. You look at somebody like on Instagram, you like, oh they got clout and everything. You could be getting like ten to fucking hundred thousand likes, and you could still be broke as fuck. Mm. People don't know how to utilize stuff. Like the artists, they just be sitting stuff on drugs and just like, little clothes, bro. Yeah. They be living on their friends' Spanish couches. Shit. I know artists who live on their friends' couches with a hundred thousand fucking followers. With their Louis no Louis money. Louis Shit. It's crazy, bro. And then it's, that's like, those are the artists that you don't want to be with. You see that in, in real life too, though. Like, yeah, or, yeah, like straight up, like you see like people trying to flex, like wearing like crazy expensive stuff. And, like, yeah, it's like I see them on Instagram flexing, and then I get in like shoot a video for them. It's like they're like, yo, hey, let me see that stack of money real quick. Use <laughs> video. I'm like, and then some of them use the money that they paid me with in the video. Like, yo, yo, I feel like I feel like that's <laughs> lame. Yeah, like yeah, they'll be like, hey, let me see that real quick. Like. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Oh, like, they don't cash app you or Venmo? Yeah, I use cash app and like PayPal and shit like that. But mm -hmm. no, nah, that's what I saw. I don't like hearing cash. I don't like doing that. Yeah, yeah it's dead. Do you, do you ever have like artists that come up to you like, yo, let's have like a tiger and like you know like but, like a hundred bitches and like a big ass house? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, that's a crazy budget right there. Yeah, yeah you're like, like, what's your budget? Oh, I got a hundred bucks. Like, oh, they would be like that. I'd be like, yeah, all uh, right. <laughs> You know, like we can have a photo shoot for a hundred dollars. Because I feel like a lot of artists, they they think they can have like they can make all these things happen with like such a low budget. Yeah, they bro, they can't. Like you can't even get studio time for five hundred dollars. Like right. and like and still have a profitable budget like for yourself because you're gonna have to spend five. Like you know, it's probably like depends on how many hours you want. You're gonna spend over two hundred dollars like on a good studio. Yeah. Plus lighting, plus whatever props you want for the video. That's well over five hundred dollars. Like for some crazy you like in the range of like five to ten thousand would be like perfect no yeah like crazy like i know my boys who shoot like nba young boy and them like money bag yo i know money bag yo's one of his cameramen from alabama both from alabama oh, really? yeah, yeah i fuck with them um yeah they, they get budget videos like they have like everything everything they need like studios everything because they get the money like they have yeah. over ten thousand dollars <coughs> you know yeah they, so it's like it's quick for them oh yeah it's quick for them it's good though i mean Studios, stu studio videos is like something I'll get into, but like I feel I don't like that. I don't like the the setup look. I like yeah. natural. That's what that's with the mirror. Like everything was natural. 
Mm. That's why it, it, it popped off so hard with the effects, because it was like, you wouldn't see that, you know? You yeah, know, you just got this random house, like, you know, boom, here comes out some lines and, like, all this mm. shit. If you were like, oh, shit, like, you know, yeah. what the hell is that? That's what popped off, because it was in Alabama. Nobody in Alabama seen that. For Cole Bennett started that with, like, Dex like, and them in Chicago and it's stuff. It's, like, like low-key funny, because I remember <coughs> the first person I seen do that was, like, Denzel Curry. And yeah, like yeah, yeah. All of a sudden. Denzel, I grew up on Denzel Curry. Like, yeah. I, I like listening to his music, yeah. It was, like... I wouldn't say grew up, but like right after I listened to started listening to that alternative rock and everything, like mm-hmm. right after that, it got into more of like Denzel Curry, like JK the Reaper, all of them. Like yeah. 2014, eighth grade. That's when I was in eighth grade. It was like 2014. And then everything was just like Like Ray Clinton and all that stuff. Boom. Everything was perfect. Like it was crazy. Denzel, I grew up on Denzel. And it's now I know it's like video guy. I met him at a show once. It shows cow I was taking pictures of the show, I got was pictures it, of him. Who's this video guy? Uh, David Webb He went on tour with him He, he doesn't uh, like He's just good friends with him now uh, That's also somebody I really I fuck with him too Cause I think I know someone That shot videos for For Denzel Yeah But um What was I gonna say Um Damn I forgot we We're talking about Oh yeah So like around here Like a lot of people Were always complaining About the lines and stuff They were saying Oh that's played out Cause they've seen it so many times cause Yeah like, like because They have a bigger music here. culture Out here Yeah, so, Alabama so. like there's no That's a, It's like everything Catches on at the right time Because like it's like smaller yeah so nobody like nobody sees it it's all sent, like i said it's all like urban cinematic stuff so you see yeah. an urban cinematic video with some crazy effects and you're like what the fuck mm-hmm. is this i remember it's it, different remember the one that we shot on which wait, i said it's a gunplay and then gunplay so i was like oh i seen that so many times oh the with the, the yeah. lines yeah because yeah. i did that too on our radio <laughs> it became popular at the time yeah it was very popular because everyone was doing it and yeah. they because but like you know you would like yeah like you said miami no like but everyone's. yeah everybody knew what it looks like out in alabama mm-hmm. like maybe a select few who was who was still uh like listening to music who was kind of into the culture they mm-hmm. might have known but other than that it just kind of caught off like with everybody it went on it what uh the video went viral on facebook before it went on uh on Instagram, YouTube? yeah. Oh, on Instagram? Yeah, it got like 114K and like... Do you feel like Facebook's still like good for getting... Oh, promotion for sure, definitely. Yeah, that's like where you need to promote your shit at, to get big because there's like... Oh, you got all the... You got to mix everybody. Because like, doesn't Facebook heads. take views from like World Star and from hit on um, YouTube? Uh, I don't know. I don't is know that? how to explain. Like, Facebook's just like a huge fucking like promotion site. You can use that easy. Because Instagram uses Facebook for promotion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you promote a post, it, that's how it goes up. Um... Is there anything that you want to like put out there hmm. or anything that you want to talk oh, yeah, about yeah 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 the, the artist the artist that, that like to say yeah my video is going on world star so shoot it for free that shit's lame <laughs> fuck that and you know i got 100 million views on world star the first person to do it like i don't i don't care about that just, they don't want to pay broadcast artists they don't want to pay they just think world star is the the uh just the place to get seen yeah no the, not where they just think world star is like the outlet for like all the they try to look, like lowball me you know so they don't want to pay so they think it's the alley just you know oh that's got clout you know I'm yeah. gonna get clout off that they say do it for the clout they're just gonna get their feelings hurt exactly man the, well star like the people that comment they're so, oh yeah they're dude so the internet is crazy <laughs> yeah i think world star is like the worst of all the internet like, is harsh <laughs> the people like yeah, but like, it's oh. so funny sometimes <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah funny. Dude, i was like i was watching some shit it was uh it was like these like famous people. I'm not gonna say any names, but like mm. the girl had commented under it that he she was going against them, <laughs> and then I just like was reading the comments, and the dude was like, "Yo, shut the fuck up, bitch!" Yeah. <laughs> like, didn't know who she was. It's I'm, like just random people, and it's kind of funny to just sit there and watch it. Like, yeah, because it's funny because like sometimes I'd be reading the World Star comments and I feel bad. You know, like, <laughs> oh yeah, I like, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, my YouTube like I got like I think I had like thirty. I probably have maybe a 35k like right now uh, thousand mm. subs on my shit but i'd be going through the comments on some of the videos yeah. like, dude it's so crazy it's People funny just have like the worst mm. things to say <laughs> so Yo, it's crazy especially the ones with the mirror do you feel like you have thick skin about it like you don't like, really care about like what they have to say yeah i don't give i don't like, i don't give a fuck like you know what i'm what i'm doing it's clearly working so yeah i'm chilling yeah You're just hating yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not how many. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> got, everybody has haters, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The more you have, the, you know, the bigger, bigger you, you are. are. Yeah, exactly. Well, aside from haters, do you have anyone you want to shout out? Any supporters? <laughs> shout out to Namir, of course. Um, but no, I mean, like, just a fam. Everybody who supports. Nobody really supported me, but, like, you know, mm-hmm. I did everything I'm on. But yeah. yeah. That's really it. No, I wouldn't specifically say anybody. Except yeah. for me, me and Amir are the ones who like paved everything. So, the ones who came up together. Not yeah. That way, yeah. 
that's about it. For sure. And um, you have any? Where can they find you at? Like here. Oh yeah, ideas. Water Whip and Evan on Instagram. It's W A T E R W I P P I N E V A N. Don't forget the E. Yeah, E V A N. I hate that shit. <laughs> but nah. Um, and then same thing for everything. Same name for everything. Water Whip and Evan. Yeah. For sure. Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. World Star. <laughs> yeah, World Star. Look at World Star. <laughs> For sure, so it's been six feet with water whooping Evan. Oh, yeah. <laughs>